The way we look at tissue is horribly outdated. We're using techniques that were developed over 150 years ago. Think about going to your doctor scared because you have a lump in your breast and using technology from the Victorian era to tell you if you have cancer. Your doctor takes a biopsy, and from that biopsy, she cuts off a thin section, one cell thick, and uses this section to figure out what's happening in an area thousands or even tens of thousands of times larger. This is a small sample of what is already an incredibly small sample. It's like picking up a Jane Austen novel, reading one page, and trying to guess what's going to happen at the end. Now, spoiler alert, at the end of Pride and Prejudice, she gets the guy. <laughs> but think of everything we just missed by not reading the rest of the book. And this isn't just doctors diagnosing patients. This sampling technique is slowing our ability to create new drugs and even preventing us from really understanding how our tissue functions when it's healthy. But it doesn't have to be this way. When you go to your doctor, they're not prescribing you leeches, and you shouldn't rely on Victorian-era technology to make your diagnosis. By using machines to cut tissue instead of human hands, by using computers to examine that tissue instead of human eyes, we can look at every section from that biopsy, the equivalent of thousands of slides. And using computers to understand biology isn't new. When we taught computers to look at our genetic code, we unlocked the blueprint to our bodies. We changed our ability to understand diseases and to create new therapeutics. By digitizing tissue, we can look not just at every cell in that biopsy, but we can see how the healthy cells and disease cells interact with each other. We can see the whole story. We can increase the accuracy of diagnostics. We can change the way we understand disease. We can create a revolution on par with sequencing the genome. Thank you.